Hey, New Tech, I am back with another friend and colleague from the Zion area, somebody that you need to know and somebody who has a unique history with ZBTHS. Uh, this is Mayor of Zion, Billy McKinney. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. I wish we were talking in person, but uh, we're yeah. abiding by the social distancing guidelines. Uh, it's the way of the world, right? So uh, students, yes, don't forget. Is. Uh, like with these other videos, there'll be a trivia question embedded in there. So be sure to listen closely and email me afterward with the answer to the trivia question and you'll be entered to win fabulous prizes. So, uh, Mr. McKinney, tell us a little about about what you do for the community. Well, I am the mayor of Zion. Uh, I've been in office almost 15 months, 18 months, possibly. And it's been a real interesting time given everything that's been in front of us, a presidential election, the pandemic, everybody being closed in. And so one of my things that I have to do with the city is make sure that our residents get the information about the coronavirus, our businesses get information about how they can seek help from our uh, state government, sometimes the federal government. So trying to keep everybody informed and with a positive ad who during its very difficult time. Good. All right. Uh, your video cut out. Ah, there you are. You're back again. So yeah. I understand that you have history in the district. Tell us a little bit about your experience as a ZBTHS alum. Wow. That goes back quite a way. I mean, I grew up in the Zion School District, of course, went to Elmwood and then the Central, it was junior high at that time. It's called Central Middle School. And then I graduated from Zion Benton, uh, played several sports in high school and junior high, football, basketball, baseball. In high school, I even ran cross country and spent some time on the uh, gym gymnastics team. So uh, had a, a pretty good sports history here. I was an honor roll student. One of my most proud awards that I have uh, sits on, stands on the wall in my office right now was the Zion Bitten Citizenship Award given to me by the Zion Bitten Moose Club many years ago. So as a young man, I was always very involved in the community. I played Little League Baseball. When I finished playing Little League Baseball, I coached Little League Baseball. Always been involved in giving back to the community, something that my mother taught me at a very young age. Uh, we're glad you came back to the community and are doing that. So after you left Zion, you had uh, quite the career, even playing in the NBA and then in the management. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I went to Northwestern University, uh, graduated from Zion and had a, a baseball and basketball scholarship to Northwestern where I played mm -hmm. four, uh, four years of basketball, two years of baseball. I was an Olympic uh, team alternate in 1976, uh, All-American at Northwestern in basketball, held a scoring record for 35 years. That was just broken recently within the last five years. No three-point line when I played. And then I ended up playing seven years in the NBA. My last team uh, came home and played with Chicago and then moved into the front office after my playing career and was involved with getting that first Bulls championship championship team organized uh, with drafting Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant. And prior to that, uh, playing with Chicago, also played with the guy I think everybody knows by the name of Michael Jordan, I think. <laughs> so I played there and, and then after being with the Bulls for several years, I was offered an opportunity to start the expansion team, Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, an expansion team. And then I went on to build the rebuild the bad boys, the Pistons team by drafting Grant Hill, Lindsey Hunter and Allen Houston, Hall of Fame players and all star players and then went on to Seattle for nine years back to Minnesota and then I was involved with the Milwaukee Bucks for nine years and drafting uh, two-time MVP, uh, Giannis Adetokounmpo. Oh, and cool. About, yeah, about three years ago, I decided to retire from the NBA with all of the travel. I was traveling four or five days a week, and it's been nice to settle back here in town, be involved with the school board for a year, and then on the city, uh, city councilor, uh, city commissioner for four years before running for mayor and winning uh, the election last in 2019. That's uh, it's quite a journey, but what an inspiration for our students to see one of their alum do that. That's really cool. So uh, what's, what's your word of encouragement and advice for our new tech students? I would say right now, it's been hard on everybody the last eight months. 
uh, not being able to spend time with friends, not being able to socialize and see your friends in person. I would say right now, this is one of the most crucial times of the year with the cases rising, the, the pandemic uh, cases rising, that people have to do a lot to protect their mental health. You have to stay busy, do things in your yard, get out for walks, enjoy fresh air, communicate with your friends, and take this opportunity to learn some things that you want to learn, and maybe you're a little concerned about learning in the classroom. For, for example, right now, I'm trying to learn Spanish. Uh, I speak Italian relatively well. I took two years of French in high school, and now I'm, I'm working on my Spanish every day and trying also learning different home improvement skills. So I'm taking this time to organize myself and do some things that maybe I wouldn't have had time to do unless I was being sequestered at home and, mm. and being safe. That's great advice. Uh, students follow that advice, follow that example. The trivia question is, besides the Chicago Bulls, name one team that Mr. McKinney was involved with in the NBA. So you can take your choice of any that he mentioned. Feel free to email me that, and I'll put you in the um, in the running to get some fabulous prizes. So thanks so much for spending some time with us, Mayor. And uh, students, look for Mr. McKinney around City Hall and around the community. He does really great work here. And again, what a great example for our students. So thanks so much for your time today. Well, thank you very much for having me on. And stay strong, students. Uh, as they say, this too shall pass, and we'll all be, we'll all be better for it when it's over. Indeed. Well, we're thinking of you New Tech students. We miss you. Take care. And remember, we have your back. Be sure to reach out to members of the school and the community. We'll help you however, however we can. Take care. See you later.